I'm hoping based on the previous topics we've covered in all the other lectures we've done that you've come to the same conclusion here which is as I've highlighted we are essentially creating the same page on two different URLs so these pages that highlight Woodchair content wise display wise are identical the only difference is that we have different URLs and we know from our earlier lectures that search engines classify any different URL as a different page. So this is the, the root of our problem, which is we have got duplicate content now um, and search engines will have to make a choice about, well, if I wanted to rank your website for wood chair or wooden chair, which page do I pick? Because they're identical. And this is when Google starts looking at maybe which one has the most internal or external links because it's got to make a decision because it's definitely not going to show both. Now Shopify has a solution to this issue, which is when you add these products into collections, you specify the primary collection and all other variations of this uh, product in different collections have a canonical tag pointing back to this product. Now, this is not an optimal solution, uh, despite what Shopify will tell you, because as we know, the canonical tag is a hint. Now, if we're saying that the kitchen collection version of this page is the canonical version, and this is the only version we would like to appear in search results, what can happen is if perhaps the seating version gets linked to on offer from the home page by accident. So we've broken our rule about not internally linking to uh, non-canonical pages, or maybe this URL gets shared and something goes viral and 50 people from other websites link here. Google is very likely then going to say, well, actually this is linked to from, directly from the home page, and you've got 50 other websites linking to it. This looks like the important canonical page to me. So I'm going to ignore this tag. And then you really get yourself into a mess as some canonical tags will be obeyed, some will be ignored. You might have two versions of a page internally competing against each other. Um, and the end result is you have multiple pages in the search result and they don't rank very well. So the opposite of what we're trying to achieve with SEO. Now, there's lots of different ways on different platforms to fix this. On Shopify and um, other major platforms, you do tend to have the option to have products, have their URLs generated without the category name or without the collection name in. And I highly recommend this approach because 